welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the Sideshow Collectibles Batman Noir version. Now of course this is like a six scale figure and this is the Noir version because they had like a standard version which I would have preferred. I had missed out on it, you know, but like you actually have Batman like in his blue cape and I think you can get like a Bruce Wayne like alternate head sculpt but this right here is actually like a noir version so it's like it's all in black and white because they actually have the joker like this too as well but i must admit i think batman will seem cool like this you know and i'm kind of excited that i have got this because i know these are limited to like only 500 so i'm definitely excited that i have picked it on up and this is actually my first batman figure like on this level you know as far as like batman himself because i have like other like characters you know from like a uh, the Batman like family, you know. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get into this uh, right now. This is the box that contains the size of collectibles Batman Noir six scale figure, and it's done like in a black and white style, as you can see, like black and white. And like with the uh, the Joker one, I have you have images of like Batman from like, the comics, and it's like done in black and white. Cause if this was the actual regular standard version, it would've been like in color. Even on the back, they have images like from the comics. And of course, you can select the figure right there itself too, like on the back. So I'm going to just open this on up. And just like with my Joker one, you can see that images from the comics throughout the box, you know, on the inside. Which I think is kind of cool. It's all in black and white too. You can see how it actually looks too. And it has like this like utility belt right around and you gotta slide this on off. I'm to be careful with it. And I see Batman has two trays. Okay, this is him right here with like the uh, accessories that he has, a couple. And this here is a stand with like his, uh, I think his hands too. I know he doesn't have that much. <laughs> what I want to do first is actually assemble the stand. Cause they have it like in this plastic. And right there is how it actually looks. It looks like that's some kind of like drainage type thing. Like a sewer. I'm hearing it's like the bat cave. If I'm in the bat cave. And of course this right here is like the, uh, the neck piece thing. What is it? You have to be careful with these because I know these can actually break. Then of course you know you just slide it right on there, press it down, and of course you know you can like adjust this up and down too. <laughs> so now I'm gonna pull the uh, figure out. As usual, he has all this this, this plastic on. So I'm gonna take this plastic off. So I see. He got it around his head and his hands too as well. Now those slide off easily in the shoes. There's also some right here around his waist and like his legs too. I think I actually got to take these boots off to get to those. I'm going to see. Now as you can see you actually have to take Batman's like leg off to actually get this plastic off right here. Then what you would do is like slide this back on. Like this brace thing. I think I got it right. Then you actually put his shoe back on to like the peg. You gotta see his back in. Then you do that with this other side too as well. So let me see. It'll come off. Yeah, it comes right on off. And you put a plastic on. I've never seen him like that on thing. Then you put this one back on. And then this other shoe. So I got those done. And then even like his hands right here, what you have to do is take the hand actually out. See right there, once you take the hand off, you slide like his gauntlet off. Then you can pull this plastic off his arm. Then you just put the gauntlet back on. And then like his hand too as well. So here's the Batman. But Sideshow Collectibles Batman Noir version. So I'm going to go ahead and measure him. Now to the ears, Batman is almost 13 inches. It looks like he is about actually like 13 inches. Like if you go all the way to his ears, like the top of his cow. 
So what I do first is talk about like the uh, the likeness, or well, the detail and articulation of this figure. Now this is awesome. I would have preferred, like I said before, like the actual standard version, like the blue version, but this is an awesome looking figure. And this kind of look for Batman, it seems like it really fits him, you know, it's like a classic type look to it. Just that they even had like Batman cereals that were like in black and white, you know. Now of course, you know, you can remove this belt too as well because it has like Velcro on the back so you can't take the belt off if you want. I like this cape too. This cape is awesome, and as you can see, he does uh, stand up uh, pretty good too. It's a wide cape too, as you can see. <laughs> if I open it all up, you can see how long, how wide it is. Oh, that's a large cape. Like the wingspan, and it doesn't have like a wire in it either. This cape, it doesn't have like a wire in it, which is kind of I still think it's so cool. I think it's okay, you know. And it does have like the wing shaped uh, jagged edges at the bottom, too, as you can see. Like a bat. I like how you also can say Batman's like muscularity in the suit, too, as well. You can see like his chest, even like his abs, right there. Like the imprint of his abs, I think that's cool. Even like the veins, I think that's supposed to be what that is. Like right there in his arms. You can see the veins in his arm. Now his head can turn left and right. It can kind of look up and he can look down too as well. And of course he has the gutless on and so on. This is an awesome figure. I am impressed. Now Batman's arms can raise up. Just like they, they let it kind of tight to the red, right but he does have a bend like in the arm. He can split, <laughs> leg can go up. He has a bend in the knees too, as well, so you can bend the knee. God, this is cool. I think it's awesome. I may have the belt, I think, raised too high too. And bad make it even like an ab crunch too. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I said that's awesome. That's cool. And like I said before, I would have preferred like the actual standard version, but I missed out on it, you know, because I even had like a Bruce Wayne head sculpt. But I think this is still pretty cool, and it does kind of fit him. This kind of look, you know, does fit Batman, from my opinion. <laughs> and man's feet like that too, as well. He has like a pivot. So you can get some good like poses with him, you know. I really am impressed with this. <laughs> now I want to move on to the accessories. And he doesn't have that much that comes with the Sideshow Collectibles Batman Noir figure. Now he has um these two like gripping hands, like a left and right. And I believe these are for like his batterings, because you can tell they're like gripping hands. Then he has like two open hands like these, you know. So like he has like six in total like hands, but he has actually like four separate alternate hands. That's accessories that come with the uh, Batman Noir figure are these two batarangs. Because you can see this one is actually shaped almost like his bat symbol. And this is like a standard battery. This looks like a boomerang. Now, one thing cool about these, these are actually kind of like mellow. You can even hear it. When you drop it, you can even hear how they sound. They sound like metal. So these are actually like metal pieces. I think that's kind of awesome. They are sharp too. You actually have to be, if I press hard enough, I bet I can actually cut myself with this, you know. As you can see, I just put a battering in uh, Batman's hand too. It went in pretty uh, easily too. This is an amazing figure. I think this is awesome. Yeah, it went in actually easy too, as you can see. Now what I'm gonna do is do a size comparison with this and my uh, size for collectibles Joker figure. Now just think. They do have the Joker in Noir too as well, but this is 
the actual Joker figure that I got. And this is an awesome figure too. Because my only problem why it took me kind of so long to pick these up too is they weren't actually really based on, on any uh, real look of the uh, these characters. It is based on, I guess you could say, a like comic book, you know. So I think that's still awesome that they did that, you know. But as you can see, this is how the Joker stands next to Batman. They're both on their stands. Because it looks like Batman is just a little higher than him because of his cow. Like if this was Bruce Wayne here, it like they'd be part about the same height. And of course they had Batman like this too, but I missed it where he was actually in color. Like he had the blue cape, you know, and he had the Bruce Wayne hair, but I had missed out on that, you know. But I still think this is awesome. And they do have the Joker in New World too as well, like a black and white Joker. But like I say, Batman really fits that look, from my opinion, a little more than the Joker does. But I think these are some awesome figures, you know. I would definitely recommend these if you're like a fan of Batman, you know. Okay, that's the Sideshow Collectibles Batman Noir six scale figure. This is an awesome figure, and like I said, they did have like a standard version, or I don't know if it was like collectors or not. It was actually like the true look of Batman, where like far as the colors go, like he was actually like the blue cape and the gray suit and the yellow like utility belt. But I had missed out on that one. I did want to pick that one, but I had missed out on it. So I just decided to go ahead and pick this one on up because that one also had like the alternate Bruce Wayne like head sculpt that you can have. Now that was my only problem with these figures, even like the Joker one, was that they weren't really based on the uh, on actual like um, look of the... Uh, they actually were based on the look, but it wasn't nothing they were actually really based on. You could just tell they comic book based figures, which is awesome, you know. I think that's still a cool thing because you know this is Batman, but we knew that that other one was like the Joker, the Joker figure himself. But I think this is a pretty uh, awesome figure, you know. It was actually much better than I thought. And like I said, this New War version, from my opinion, this actually does kind of fit Batman for some reason, you know. And they even had like Batman cereals back in the day, which were like in black and white too. You know, he had Robin with him as well too. But uh, yeah, I definitely recommend picking this one up. So this is the um, Shadow Show Collectibles Batman New War six scale figure. This is awesome and superb. If you're like a fan of Batman, you know, I would definitely recommend this. You know, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.